Hey guys, it's Texas Lives Tina Tactical. My name is Bianca. Today we have here the Radical Firearm FR16. Now this does have a 16 inch barrel and then the um, handguard is a 15 inch so just keep that in mind. Now it has a 1 in 7 twist rate on there as well. <clears throat> Now, also, the gas system is also mid-linked on here. Um, the muzzle is an A2 flash hider, and the handguard is an M-lock thin rail, uh, along with the charging handle and the buffer tube is a mil spec on it. Now, it also has, it is stocked with the Mission First Tactical on it as well, in case anybody is just wondering on it. Um, so, it is a beautiful day for us to go shooting with it today. So, hopefully, um, y'all will enjoy it and let's get into it. We are in a safe and controlled environment today. None of the magazines are loaded during the speaking portion until we are actually getting to the shooting. That is when they are loaded. Now, let's get back to it. So it does come with a 30, one 30 round magazine. Um, since YouTube does not like that, we are going to be doing uh, 20 round magazines instead. Um, so yay. Um, now I am gonna say, I one thing I do like is with these, it's a little bit easier because all you gotta do is press it down and put it in. And it makes it so much easier because if you know, you're like me and you're not as strong then you know it doesn't take as much time as to a handgun it's just a little bit harder but right now it's not wanting to go in why not there it goes Alrighty. so um that is one thing to keep in mind why does it not want to go in there it goes you just kind of have to push it just don't try not to half push it just fully push it in all right and we're gonna get all four of these magazines fully uh loaded and then we'll get into some shooting with it Alrighty, so today we are using the Green Dot Hollow Sun HE403B-GR today for the site that we are going to be using, and one of my favorite ones, honestly. Um, now, what you're going to do uh, for my ladies out there, uh, try to put it into your shoulder and just pull this thing back. Um, just use all your strength. It is a little difficult sometimes, but um, I do find it to be a little bit easy whenever you put it into your shoulder. It does hurt a bit, but that's the best way to do it. All right, let's get into the shooting portion now. Now we're about 50 yards back, I would say roughly around. It has rained sadly over the past few days, so it is a bit muddy. So I wish we could be further back, but unfortunately we won't be able to, but let's get into it. Alrighty. I do like it. It does not kick back as hard as I um, other rifles I have shots that do that. <coughs> I did get some smoke in my throat. <clears throat> so give me a second. Alrighty. Okay, one thing I will say though, my shoulder does hurt a bit, so if you um, probably should have wore something covering my shoulder a little bit right here, but you will get a little bit bruised if you want to just try to wear something a little bit thicker to help you. Um, it doesn't hurt me too bad, but I know the first time I did shoot the gun, it did kind of leave some bruises, so just keep that out there for the ladies if you would want to know. Um, that's something that I do have a cause that reoccurs every time I start bruising right here, it does get red. But I'm kind of a bit used to it now, so just letting you know. Alrighty, and the next mag. My bad. Alrighty.
it's starting to hurt a bit. Give me a second. Looks like it jammed, so. I can't pull it. So we did have a little bit of malfunction. We did fix it, so hopefully it should get a little bit better. So let's get back into the shooting portion. Now, like I said, ladies, definitely have something. I am getting a little bit red, if you can see it on camera right here. That's what I'm talking about, is that if you wanna have something covering your shoulder, this area in particular, a little bit more padding for you, if it does hurt, it doesn't really bother me, but I know for some people out there, if it is an issue, just keep that in mind. Hmm. A lot of smoke out here. Whew. Let me get some fresh air and not all the smoke. So give me a second. Alrighty, I do love it. It does not kick as bad, uh, kick back as much. Um, now the smoke is something that does cause me some problems. I do personally have some problems breathing, so I do have to take from time to time to give myself some breath. I will say uh, one thing is, again, it is very heavy, so if you don't lift as much like I do, which I need to start doing, um, your arms are going to get start getting very fatigued as well, so just keep that in mind. This is fun. I do like shooting this. It's a lot of fun to shoot. I will say that if you just want something to grab, go get it. Just go out and shoot a few rounds. I would say this is something I do like just to take out and shoot. That's one thing I do love. I am going to scoot just a little bit more um, with the sun going down. The trees starting to get in my way, causing some. St so we have two more mags that we have uh, not fully filled, but at least halfway filled. Um, and then we're just going to test them out and then we'll do our full review on what we think of it. So let's finish this out. <sighs> another jam in it like I jinxed myself was saying hopefully it didn't jam but second one so far hopefully no more we'll see <laughs> goes Alrighty, I think that's so far three jams, um, but that is okay. Uh, let's see how many we'll get at the end of this.
Arms getting tired. I need to go to the gym. <sighs> Ready, next magazine. Alrighty, this is the last magazine we have. Let's see how this goes so far. Few more left, then we'll be done. Alrighty, so these are our final thoughts of it. Um, that was about 100 rounds that we shot on it. Uh, main thing is I do wish it was a little bit lighter. I know that's impossible for that to be. Probably not impossible, but something they probably can't make much lighter like I would like it to be. Um, but the other thing is I do wish this had a little bit more padding. Um, yes, I did adjust my stance a little bit more to be more squared so you know it can fit a little bit better in my shoulder so it didn't leave so much red mark. But just honestly, even if I had something, it just honestly, it's just uncomfortable to me. I just want a little bit more padding as well as like pulling it back to adjust it. It's a little bit hard to, um, it's hard to pull up and back. Um, that's one problem y'all didn't see that we were uh, having trying to adjust it. Now the cameraman did say when he was stepping next to me, um, shooting, it felt like he was getting, uh, he would kept getting concussions because of it, um, because you could feel the blowback from it. Now, one thing I do have to say, whenever I was shooting it, the smoke kept getting in my face, kept getting in it, causing me to have hard breathing. Um, now, I had to stop every once in a while so I can catch my breath. Um, we did clean this gun before we did shoot it. So anybody say we need to clean our guns, we did clean the gun before we did shoot it. We typically try to clean most of them. Sometimes we don't. Uh, we try to let you know ahead of time, but this one we did clean it. Um, but overall, um, something that, you know, I'll probably just take out, shoot for fun. Um, but nothing I would really trust my life with. Did jam three times, three, four times, can't remember, but did jam a good amount of time. So, but overall, that's how I feel about the gun. Wish it was lighter. Had more cushion back here. I'll probably get something for that instead. But that's pretty much it. But thank y'all so much for watching today. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. We will have our Instagram, Cash App, and Patreon if y'all would like to support us and catch us on Instagram. We do post a lot more on there. If y'all want to see anything coming up, it is going to be everything listed below. But thank you so much for watching. We'll see y'all later. Bye.